Hello guys, welcome back to the second Omen guide on this channel. Today we're going to be doing it on Lotus, which I think is Omen's best map in terms of carrying potential. So if you want to dominate your ranked games and be in more control, keep watching and we'll get right into it. I've done this guide so you can dominate your ranked games and climb the ladder very easily. I'm just going to start with the two default smokes you'll need for A. The first one will be here by stairs, and the second one will be here by ropes or by CT where they can drop because if they can see you from here they can kind of get an angle on people pushing out of tree and people pushing out from stairs or from sight so smoking this off is very useful to take so it leaves you only having to worry about sight which leaves your crosshair placement to be way more simple because everything on this map you will find is the same elevation like this map is quite flat for the most part now for b i'd say there's only one real main default smoke which would be ct and then for your other smoke you'll either put it up here or you'll put it here now i always think having it here is really good if you have a lurk or an a and because it we're not worrying about upper just means your crosshair placement is still quite flat this you would always have smoked this sometimes can be a problem if you're not smoking link off and you have no one lurking link because eventually someone from a will break this door to even come through into link fast if they know it's to be here early in the round so i recommend smoking this off if you're five man pushing it on an eco round or something and leaving this but always smoke ct always so for the sea site you just want to be smoking off waterfall like this Shadows traveling. and you want to be smoking off ct like Cover so going out so these are the default smokes to see obviously because waterfall if you're planting anywhere they could probably see when you're planting as you can get direct access to anywhere from here on the sight line which here. is smoke blocks here. and ct obviously you smoke ct on every map but especially here because there's here. two different elevations you can be swung from so it's a bit harder to guess where your enemy is going to be hiding or where they're going to be swinging you from and they can also be in that corner too so it's also what direction they could be swinging on because you can't be seen from here so yeah that you'll be smoking tt and waterfall as you're entering the site and make sure always with your spokes as well to time them as you're entering out because they only last 14 and a half seconds that's the downfall of omen but that gets made up for because the smokes always regenerate on this agent so yeah you always want to be timing them as your team is walking in so they're up as long as possible. Now I'll be going through a lot of plays you can do for our attack on A on Omen, just bearing the smokes. So first you could obviously start by smoking off stairs or from the moment the barrier drops you can actually get to rubble as soon as the round starts. Because if they're pushing, you can obviously catch a lot of enemies off guard as they're going to be like looking yeah. around here where the yeah. checkpoint is. So you could easily get like a couple free kills if they're pushing you. And then when you're here you could smoke off out. the stairs. And you can actually come up, obviously, careful of this box, because they've changed that now, so you can't see them. And as you're actually clo like opening this door, you can flash through. And you can obviously clear all of this. Another way to open this door as well, if you want to be careful, because they could actually just be sitting here, close. Is to do this, then back up, then flash, because you actually have time now. And then you can obviously work on clearing this. And as you're in tree, you can just smoke this off. And this is how I usually take space on Omen. And I let my duelist take yeah. from main onto the site. And I'll obviously come here with maybe one more from one of my teammates with a say hit. Another plan I want to add as well on Omen. If you actually take this space here, you can actually smoke this off and then break this door and actually take O, take B. And then obviously I'll put my smoke Cover CT going out. to be honest if I'm doing it from here. Because that's like the next possible yeah. direct threat. You can yeah. take B because a lot of your enemies go rotate very yeah. fast on this map because it's got three sites so they have to kind of be there fast. So you can actually easily juke, smoke yeah. here and then put your way out onto B and take B. So for B I would say with your flash there's three potential flashes you could do. You could walk up and flash early like this or you could flash kind of in the crater where the stairs are like this. Obviously, I would usually always smoke CT traveling. and then up here Cover because there will also be someone here. ready to go link or we'll have someone entering link from the site to take that space without the smoke. So I'd usually smoke off CT and up here, but you might also have to smoke link if they're always playing with good punishing you from that. And if you want to take it, you could also flash link as well. So you have three potential flashes that you could do. And also, just because the map's updated, make sure you're always clearing this left-hand corner because I've seen like three people die all radiant just by walking out and not clearing the map because they weren't used to the change in the map. So yeah, that's my tips. 
And for C, flashing the right side is also very good as well. But you could also flash back side. It depends where your duelist is going to enter from. Because if you have a raise, they could satchel straight yeah. over into back side, or they could yeah. satchel around into bend. So you want to use your flash depending on which direction they're going to go for taking the site. But also you could just TP up here as well and take a little bit of space for your team and a little bit of control. And just clear angles like this so your raise or your jet yeah. can take the right side or your or whatever duelist you have. Don't want to assume. And obviously make sure Cover you're smoking up. CT and waterfall. That's no, what I would do when I'm in for a C take. Now that we're done through just smoking and flashes and what you could do during an execute for your team, I actually want to talk about the luck potential on Omen here. Because this is something that's not often talked about with this agent. And because the range of the smokes is so big, you can basically smoke from anywhere on the map, anywhere you want. So you can reach all the way from C, T, from B. And that's only from half the distance, you can do that from A as well. And I just want to say this, so lurking on Omen can be very 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 vital and especially on this map you have three sites so there's a lot of space to play around with on this map and to be honest i don't ever really see anyone check for a lot of lurks these days on this map like I, you can get away with them if you time them correctly so there's three tips i want to give you for lurking one always check for sound so if you're stat here your team are going a or c and you hear footsteps yeah of them ro rotating across the map. That means you know they're probably not gonna be checking for you, but if you hear a lot of shifting or just not a lot of sound, then they're most likely gonna be checking your luck and you have to be a lot more careful when lurking. So when you when you hear them step, you can basically take anywhere you want and you've got three rain and you're basically guaranteed at least two free kills every time, especially from this B to C lurk or going up yeah. through B upper for an A lurk or anything like that, or even if your team are taking B and you go through stairs. I'd say that luck is probably the most watched luck though, any stairs push on the B hit is quite watched for. But not a lot of people yeah. check Link if you're going B, so you can definitely take Link, because someone will always be rotating through Link if you're on B. So yeah, I always recommend lurking, maybe not an Omen, all the time, because you're going to become quite predictable anyway. But definitely for at least three or four rounds in an attack half, I reckon you can get away with lurking in a game and you can have a lot of impact for your team. But yeah, that's my luck potential part of the video on Omen. Okay, now that we're done with attack, let's move on to defense. So on the A site, I want to do a no-go smoke. So never ever smoke this off. Because this smoke basically just allows them to cross into rubble for free. So never ever smoke off of rubble or close rubble. When you're smoking, I would suggest always putting the smoke down here. And if they're trying to push tree, if you have a door open, put a smoke down there as well. Uh, if you're fighting, you can even smoke this doorway here with a breach stun or raise nade or neon stun, whatever you have to push them back. And you can take all of A for free and basically either force them to rotate or force them to push out of this smoke. This means you have the advantage for winning the round for your team because if they're pushing out of your smoke, you see them first. Another play you can do for A is actually flash this and then CP up rubble like this. I recommend doing it with a raisinade or something as well to push them back. And the reason this is so effective with the flash is because the flash makes them basically deaf to your TP. So they can't actually hear your TP up onto this. And this is a very good free angle to get a lot of picks and kills on if you're pushing. Yeah, I always recommend maybe yeah. being up rubble once or twice throughout the game. And you're basically guaranteed three if they don't clear you every time. Or, if you want to switch it up, you can TP just here like so and fight from this side of rubble. And they don't always expect this either. So yeah, there's a lot of plays you can do around rubble on Omen on A, which can be very effective. Another play you could do as well if you want to hold from tree Cover is you can smoke this off and let's say they open the door like so. You can just throw a flash and TP up on top of this doorway and definitely get a few free kills. And this is even more effective now because the door takes a lot longer to open and close. So yeah, you can always try this play as well. Or you can play here, flash like this, swing one and maybe TP out like this. That's a lot. There's a lot of impact you can have from tree, or if they're full pushing through main, you can even just use your flash like this and swing off it. So you can play a little bit deeper on Omen as well on this site. And obviously, this isn't wall bangable anymore. So as I said, if you get someone to bay for you here, you can get a lot of joy and success just playing off this angle. 
Smacks here. A lot, a lot of potential for Omen on this map and on this site as well. Uh, so the only other Spooker that rivals Omen is Astra for this map, but I wouldn't really play anyone else or consider playing anyone else as a solo smoke anyway, because you can play Viper or Harbor, but you will need two smokes. So yeah. For B, there isn't a crazy amount of plays you can do. If you're on Omen, you can definitely cross to here and CP back if they don't play you and you can maybe get two or three kills. But I would always suggest having someone there to bait for you so they don't necessarily kill you here. And obviously the basic default skill for defense would just be smoking off this choke point next to On C, there's a lot of things you can do on Omen. Like if you want to push, you can just one way this. This one way is very solid for pushing out onto mound and maybe getting a few kills under your one way. Most likely you'll probably only get one or two though max because if your enemies have brains they won't peek this. Or without the one way, you could just get someone to bait for you and TP here behind this box. I recommend only doing this once a half by the way because they will definitely just always spam this just yeah. all bangable. So this play is a risk in itself because if you have a team that's just always going to be clearing that, it's never going to work. But if you have someone baiting yeah. for you, maybe you're not, maybe yeah. someone to flash and swing, they might not clear you. So it is decent to give it a go as you can get, it's a high risk high reward basically. And the basic default smoke is just this choke point here. And then you could also play here, maybe get one or two and then TP here. And on this side you can actually get quite creative to be honest. There's a lot of creativity with your TPs, a lot of angles you can play on C. Like on top of here for example. Although you can basically jump up there normally. You can play around here just for the smoking here, and then you can definitely get out as well by TP war for me. This is going to be split off every time. Yeah, a lot of potential for C on Omen. Yeah, more tips just obviously just get creative again. Like, you can TP up top of many innovations to catch your opponents off guard. Like, Rubble, for example, like we showed here, or you could just TP like any sort of offline you want on this box. Like, on this box, if you're holding sight, you can easily get a few kills here you know like even on BR every single thing you can TP up I'll show you obviously you can just jump on top of that you can kind of like play here as like an off angle because when you're playing angles right you have to envision where you would be clearing things let's say you have the best crosshair placement think about where your crosshair is going to be placed like for example so let's say I'm playing like here, for example, right? Just as an example. As you're clearing this, you're gonna be like up here and you're gonna be like yeah. here and you'll get the kill kind of thing. So you always have to be envisioning where your crosshair is gonna be. Obviously you can yeah. get on top there, but you don't have to TP for yeah. any of these. But these are two low off angles you can use anyway, or you can just use this one. This is kind of new so they don't always clear it, so it's quite good to try. I think you can jump on top of this without needing a TP, so you can do that as well. Obviously you can use your TP to get behind things as well. Or you could even just push out mound without a one way, maybe get one, flash this side, go for another and then get them out of there with a TP. It would just be very free. And you can kind of do it, you can use your TPs as supports as well, like you can flash this kind of thing with, and have someone push off it. Or you can go link and flash main from there for some support. Or you can even play here and flash like one of these sides for someone else to swing off of. So there's a lot of potential with your flashes and your TPs and just be creative. Now don't be afraid to try new things on this agent. 90% of the time you're playing Omen anyway, you're probably being forced on smokes. So if you're creative, you can have a lot more impact on the game and maybe frag out a lot more so you can win the game. And you would also be having a lot more fun than just playing behind your team all the time and just smoking for them. So yeah, just don't be afraid to try new things. Have fun with it and you'll enjoy the game more. So you're not just moping around that you have to play smokes. So the final segment of this as well is I wanted to talk about the Omen ult because I feel like not a lot of people actually use the Omen ult correctly. So sometimes people only really think of using Omen ult when clutching so the bomb is somewhere they go to the other side they open not pick up the bomb and then they plant and then try and clutch the round from there and while this is good i hardly ever see anyone actually fake with the omen ult. And i think the omen ult is so valuable for fakes so let's say you take your bomb c or something and you fake c and then you instantly tp on a when everyone's rotated onto c See how easy it is to fake, and you can maybe have two or pe yeah. two people just shifting up A so they can support you a little bit. 
Baking with Oma Malt is something really useful and I don't ever really see a lot of people do it, so I reckon you guys should give it a try and I guarantee you will get you one or two rounds like per half on attack as you try it. So yeah, Faking with Oma Malt is very useful. I recommend this. So this concludes the Omen guide. I'm going to be doing two more on Split and Sunset as they are the only maps I think Omen is meta on that are still are out because Haven got taken out. Uh, so if you enjoyed and found this guide useful, please like and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Peace.